right, so, um, I, I got a microphone today, um, so that I could, um, talk to my girlfriend, um, you can go, uh, you can go in and look at my other videos, um, if you want to, I have a vid some videos of, uh, us together, um, there's a whole, there's a whole long story about that, there's, yeah, uh, that's, that's not this, that's not this video, um, basically, uh, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making some videos just basically about, um, just really just random topics that are of interest to me, just kind of a a video blog, vlog, or I guess really kind of an audio blog in this case, sort of whatever, somewhere in between the two. Um, just at no particular um, no particular pace of intervals of releasing them, I might release one a week or one every five years, you know, whatever. I don't know. Just as as things come into my head that I want to talk about, I might make a video about it and if anyone wants to watch it, great. If it's just for me, that's fine too. Um so um you know I've made put out some videos before about different things, you know, and before I've said I was going to make videos, talk about uh, 2012 scenarios or whatever, or about me and my girlfriend, whatever, different things. I have a tendency to think I'm going to start a project and, and never finish it. Um, so, you know, I'm, I guess there's lots of people that do, well, I don't know, so there's, there are other people who say, you know, get excited about an idea, and then the, the initial excitement is that the biggest part of it, and then the follow-through is usually not there. So, okay, I'm rambling. I'm a rambler. Um, what I wanted to cover in this first video is something that's been bothering me lately, and that is what I think in the in the media, in books, in movies, TV shows, whatever, is I think that there is a bias towards... Um, there's a bias, I, I feel, I sense this when I watch TV, when I read books, when I see movies, whatever, you know, in any kind of modern mass media of it, or entertainment of any kind, is I, especially, well, obviously, not especially, but this would be the only thing that would concern it, but I feel that there's a, a bias towards when dealing with things that are dealing with romance is... There is a, a bias against happy, basically, well, not just, not really against, not so much against happy romance, but basically against true love or lasting romance. Basically, like, basically the idea is that, that, like, couples will always ultimately break up, or that it's, that, like, it's okay it's okay to, to just move on. Like, like if you don't move on, you're you're a stalker, basically. Like, um, like I believe in the concept of what most people would consider as, you know, quote unquote, soulmates. Um, you know, that that's what I used to think it was called. Apparently, in like spiritual circles or whatever, the the true technical name for it is. Um, twin souls or twin flames, you know, um, you can, you know, Google search that or, or I would even recommend you, uh, you search, do, you know, search that on, you here on YouTube, YouTube at, YouTube search at, you know, there are some good videos about that, explaining the concept of that and whatever, you know, I mean, it's kind of a, a new agey kind of term, and I don't really go for that necessarily go for that whole new age philosophy, whatever, really, so much. 
it's not really my thing for certain reasons, but the point is, the point being is, um, I do believe that that there's that there's there's a person that everyone has a single only one single other person meant for them. I believe that in that whole destiny, love at first sight, soulmates thing, or twin souls or twin flames as the supposed technical name for that is whatever. Apparently in that technical terminology, whatever soulmates really means it's more like soul acquaintances. It's just like anyone in your quote unquote soul group or whatever. You know, but your twin flame is your real the one person that you're supposed to be with. It's like your, it's like your, like your twin, like your identical twin, the only person that you can ever truly love. It's like your, your two bodies are sharing one soul, that kind of thing. Like when you, as soon as you see them, you, you're, it's love at first sight. You're instantly in love with them. Uh, you know, it's, it's usually very often your first love, and, and you know, and some people, you know, they, it's their only love, but then other people, they'll, you know, they'll break up with that person and they'll spend the rest of their lives trying to to recreate that that love with, you know, an endless string of other empty relationships. And I think a lot of people who are like, you know, just, you know, just go have like meaningless sex and alcoholics and all these kinds of just empty behavior patterns that never satisfy people. I think a lot of that can be traced back to people who, you know, had, fell in love in when they were in like high school or college or maybe even earlier and and their you know, their true love of their life they they left and they never saw them again and they're just trying everything to try to fill that void that that has, you know, consumed them ever since then and they maybe are not even necessarily aware of it anymore. The point is that, or probably they are deep down, probably they are either deep down or maybe they are even consciously aware, but it's like they don't even necessarily talk about it at all, really. But the point is that I think people are maybe for whatever reason, maybe because they don't want to think about their own loss of their first love or their their soulmate, their twin soul, whoever it may be, the the person that was important to them, who may have, they may have gotten away, and they may ne feel that they could never reconnect with that person. For whatever reason it is, that's why people do it. But I think the media is really guilty of this bias. People try to convince people that to just let that go, that it's okay, it's just it's okay to just to just not be with that person, even though. I feel that that, that that that's the most important thing, certainly in, in a relationship and in your love life, and possibly in all of life, because I feel that the meaning of life is is love. You know, they say God is love, and so what could be more important than that? So, but there's this bias, I feel, in things that say, well, the best thing to do is to move on, to find someone new. If you can't, love, if you can't be with who you love, then... If you can't, then love who you are being with, you know, so, but the, I feel that that's really wrong, and I don't know why the media and the, and, and even just sometimes normal people are trying to push this agenda, maybe they think it's healthy, maybe they think it's, um, it's just the only way to deal with it, you know, you just have to move on in life, whatever, if you don't do that, then, then you're a stalker at some point, well, I don't know, whatever. I think maybe I don't know. I just think it's it, it's wrong for them to be pushing this agenda. I think at some point, and maybe this sounds like a conspiracy theory, but honest to be honest, I I do believe in some of what they call these quote unquote conspiracy theories, and I'm probably get to that in compute in future videos. I, th I think they're not really conspiracies. I think they are some of them are true things and you can you can you know do the research for yourself on that and decide whether or not you think they are whatever you know you know I mean whatever you think about that but I think that there is somewhat of a I don't know some kind of a, a bias or a conspiracy here I think that the people who make these things um, I don't know they they